Uh, good morning, Sean. Well, we had a great quarter. Uh, revenue exceeding. This is a revenue game. It's a revenue growth game. Our revenue exceeded all analysts' expectations and our expectations. All the analysts have raised their revenue expectations for the next quarter and for the next two years. I think the company is in a position to accelerate growth. So it was a great quarter. It's a volatile market. And, uh, you know, my my job is to grow the business and establish a market leading position in AI. That's what we're focused on. I think the stock price will take care of itself. Yeah, and I know CEOs often hate talking about the stock, but let's talk about the stock. What is the impact of um, that, that sort of volatility that you just mentioned when you're running a company that's just come public? You've not only got employees who have been in this for a while, but you're trying to hire new ones. Uh, how do you navigate that environment? I'd say there's almost no impact. We have, we have in, <clears throat> about a billion dollars cash in the bank. And um, and we we are in a position to invest in market growth globally. If you look at Glassdoor, for example, our employee uh, morale levels, enthusiasm levels are amongst the highest of any company in the world. We had 17,000 job applicants last quarter for 60 positions that we hired. I think morale is high. The customer satisfaction is high. And uh, we're in a position to continue to accelerate the growth of the business. So where do you go um, for AI sales? Uh, where's the momentum right now at this period, both geographically and perhaps industry-wise? Well, that's a, that's a good question. We're excelling. We're seeing acceleration across all markets: Asia, Europe, North America, aerospace, telecommunications, financial services, defense, intelligence, manufacturing, uh, energy, oil and gas, utilities. So this is uh, this is a very rapidly growing market. We're looking at a at a market that analysts predict to be a quarter of a trillion dollar addressable software market. I believe that we're establishing a market leadership position in that market. If we succeed at doing that, the stock will take care of itself. Tom, tell me how important your new ex machina of businesses in terms of this new focus, this growing focus on low code, no code services. What role will that play in your future? This is critically important. In other words, this is going to be a gaining factor on the adoption of AI uh, because we cannot, you know, every company cannot hire 20 uh, PhD data scientists from MIT at a quarter million dollars apiece. So one of the big trends in AI is the democratization of AI. And we're doing this at two levels. One, with, with kind of the mothership, which is the CA3 AI suite, we've released an, what we call an entire new development suite so called C3 AI IDS, the Integrated Development Suite, which is a low-code, no-code development suite for sophisticated data scientists and application developers. And then for the analyst community, the citizen data scientists, We've recently released a product called Ex Machina. I encourage your uh, viewers to look it up on the web, give it a trial. But it enables um, basically people who used to do analysis with spreadsheets or, uh, or pivot tables to do very sophisticated AI on very large data sets with this basically very low cost, uh, uh, entirely web native product called Ex Machina that's available today to, to just click on it and you'll be live in 15 minutes. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.